Hello and welcome back to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we're going to be learning how to draw a beautiful blue and black butterfly called Papilio Ulysses. Here's a picture of what we're going to be drawing now. All that you're going to need is some plain white paper or a sketchbook, a pencil, an eraser, a thick black pen and also either two or three different shades of blue, just so that we can colour it in. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so to get started, we're gonna start with the head. So just draw a little circle in the center of the page, just lightly in pencil. I'm gonna rub this out later. Now for the body. The body is a slightly longer shape. Just like that. I'm gonna add two big eyes. One eye on this side, one eye on that side. Now, we're gonna draw a line from here going outwards in this direction and the same on this side. Now remember, the secret to drawing butterflies is that it has to be completely symmetrical. Like not 100%, but try and get as close as you can. So next, I'm going to draw the upper part of the wing coming out and then joining up just like that. Same on the other side. Let's see if I can do the same. It's going to be hard. Way to the top. Make sure that it's in line. I've done it way too far. So I'm just going to rub it out. Way to the top. And then down. So now's the time to see if they look vaguely symmetrical and mine really don't. <laughs> so I'm going to have to just rub this out slightly. So this should be the same distance on this side. So I need to come up to about here. Okay, let's try again, shall we? So coming all the way around and joining up. That's much better. Okay, now for the lower wings. So starting about here, bring it down and just draw around wing like so. Now, the same on the other side. Easier said than done. Coming all the way down. Bring it round. And in. There we go. So it's starting to resemble a butterfly. And then we're going to just draw the antennae. Just like that. Now, we're going to add a little bit more detail. So on the lower wings, it's a little bit more fancy. Bring it in, then bring it out again. Bring it in, and then there's gonna be a large protruding part, just like this. Bring it in again, out, then in, then out, then in again, and out. And then it just joins the rest of the wing. Okay, now we've got to do the same on the other side. So, starting in the same place, go in and then out. In and then we've got to draw a similar shape on this side. And then in again, out, in, out, in, out. Just like this. Now I can see that this one's a lot smaller than that one. So again, I'm gonna have to rub it out, make sure that it's the same line. There we go. There we go. So don't worry if you don't get it right the first time, you know, I'm always making mistakes. I do this as a living, but <laughs> you just get used to it. You learn to see when you've made a mistake. That's one of the most important things. And then you know how to correct it. So next bit. We're going to just shade in the bits that we're going to draw all in black. So we're going to do this by first of all drawing the veins. Now this butterfly has two um, very significant veins. So I'm gonna draw one starting from the body, 
and just draw it up and then it splits into a Y shape just like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Up, splits into a Y shape. Now the second one just goes straight from here all the way up, straight from here all the way up. Now the next bit we're just going to draw lines coming off this first line. So just one, two, and the same on the other side. One, two. Okay, so now we're going to draw the top bits. So from this top part of the wing, just bring it round just like that. From here, I'm just going to do the same. Here, I'm going to draw like an M shape. Here, we're going to draw a shape like that, another shape like that, and then one last one, just like that. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So here, a curvy line. Here, another curvy line. Here, an M shape. Here, just like a peak like that. Here, another peak. And here, just a line. Excellent. So now we've got to do the same on the bottom. But this is a little bit more simple because the veins aren't quite so pronounced. So just one vein coming out there and it splits. And this one kind of goes in a loop and comes back in. So we're going to do the same on the other side. One vein splits. This one comes like a loop and comes round. And from this loop part, I just want you to draw one, two, three, four lines coming down. Same on the other side. One, two, three, four lines coming down. Again, we're going to show the black shaded part. So bring it there comes to a peak, comes down, comes to a peak, comes down, comes to a peak, comes down, another peak, comes down, and then joins the side of the wing. Same on this side. So, draw a line to there, comes to a peak, and down, comes to a peak, and down, one more peak, and down, a peak, a down, and then this one will just join the side of the way. So this all makes sense when we now colour it in, in black. Okay, so I've rubbed out all the pencil lines, so now we're going to start colouring in. So get your lightest shade of blue and just lightly colour in these parts. Give it a good coverage all the way around. These butterflies have beautiful iridescent blue wings. They kind of shine all the different shades of blue as they catch the sunlight. So just keep on going lightly. You can do this a couple of times and add several layers. I'm just doing it quite quickly just to show you. All the way around just like so so the next part get your next your slightly darker shade of blue 
and just starting at the middle, I'm just going to just shade in a little bit of blue just here, just starting from the centre and just follow the lines round. So don't colour it all in, you just want to follow the lines and just do a little bit here and the same here and the same here. So basically we're leaving the centre part um, in the lighter shade of blue, we're going around the edges in the darker shade of blue like this and the same here again the same going around the edges in the darker shade it's quite good because you can just color over all the black so it makes it a little bit easier okay I'm gonna do the same on this side so just quickly Shade it from the inside, all the way down, around the top, all around the top, and then around here. All the way around just like so okay so now we're going to get the darkest shade of blue I'm just going to use this in a few places so right at the center of the wing just like this and here if you need some help blending in the different colors just use your eraser and just blend them in just with little circle motions just like this and then just a little bit here not as much as you did before just a tiny bit just like that and the same on the bottom just a little bit just like this and the same on the other side just at the center little bit at the top not as much as we did before just like this and then the same down here sorry just like this a little bit here a little bit there a little bit there and then we have finished oh I'm just gonna shade in the eye a little bit just to make it a bit darker in the darker blue there we go so it's finished i hope you enjoyed doing this if you have please click on the like and subscribe to get more tutorials i produce one a week teaching you how to draw various animals and different things so i hope you've enjoyed it and join me on the next one thank you goodbye <laughs>